some of this later in the programme, but if you follow politics closely, and of course you do, because why else would you be watching this programme, you can't have missed the new Home Secretary allegedly pulling something called the power pose this week. Sajid Javid was appearing in front of the cameras in his first day in the new job, and it spawned a lot of commentary. Sajid Javid and the strange science behind the power poses, said The Guardian. When's it OK to do a power pose, asked the BBC. Sajid Javid adopts awkward Tory wide-standing stance, said the Mirror, while The Sun said the craze was sweeping the country on polling day as voters and activists joined in with the bizarre Tory power pose. Well, without wanting to spoil the fun, we've been looking back at the footage of his appearance and it looks to us like he was actually just taking a step to the side. Have a look at the footage. And there he is being asked by the photographers to move to one side. And it's that image of a mid-step that spawned a lot of Colin Inches and imitators. We don't think he can actually be accused of pulling a power pose in this instance, at least. So, did we all fall for a bit of fake news, Tom? Uh, I think we all fell for an excellent photograph in the time honored traditions of Fleet Street that sells newspapers. Oh. Now, Sajid Javid, I think you, the BBC have clearly exposed a, a scandal of national importance this <laughs> morning. Exactly. So, so, well done you. I, the only uh, caveat I'd put on in defence of the great art of the Fleet Street photographer is that Sajid Javid was probably a little bit naive to open his legs up all bit for a fraction of a second to give the photographers that moment which and, and who wouldn't have exploited if you were there? Well, I, good, 